to all of you are here to youtube channel this is we in this tutorial we are going to see how to migrate oracle form personalization using the fender utility so let's say how to download and then upload using a fender load so first we are going to see how to download this so this is the syntax to download using a fender load Okay, so you need to specify the file name and then the particular form you are supposed to download form name you need to mention it okay so here below the example i have mentioned that if uh, your username username and password for the uh, backend the apps so i'm gonna download oracle inventory miscellaneous transaction personalization i'm gonna open miscellaneous transaction hit n oracle personalization see now right now it is only one form personalization okay i'm gonna uh, download this uh, i'm gonna use this form name so i mentioned in the example the form name so it will download only that form name so copy this and we need to open the putty so right now i logged in uh, apps app mgr user so i'm gonna put into some specific utility folder so, so this part i'm gonna extract it this download or the uh, LDT file which is in that uh, LDT part so downloading into FTP utility tool so I am using the MSCP so this part I kept it there so right now it is extracted with the log file you can see whether it is failed or it is success so open the LDT file and then you can see inside that uh, personalization okay, you can see the details okay. so all the information will be extracted actions conditions anything so download into your local system okay, so it will be in my desktop now so uh, what I'm going to do is next I'm gonna upload the same okay so before uploading I'm gonna delete it from the form okay so the same uh, syntax as like the download but only thing is we are specifying specific only the file name so go to form I'm gonna delete it save So now go to upload. So copy. So already the file is there. So if you are removing to some other instance, you need to move to go before you are running this upload. So I'm running now. So now it is uploaded. So go to the inform personalization window. Customers. So now it is again uploaded. Okay. So all the uh, conditions and actions you can see now. So like this, you can migrate from uh, test to live system. So next is if you want to download all the personalization which has been created so you can use this syntax without specifying any form name you can extract all the personalization which is done by uh, our server 
Okay, so paste it. So you end up with the SV generator. Refresh. So first one. So if you open it, you can see all the personalization irrespective of the forms. So you can see all the personalization actions belongs to them. So next one is what are the tables which is be using this for personalization for some troubleshooting activities you may be needed. First is uh, custom rules. So that will have the header and the conditions informations and then the custom scopes. So this will have the context information like uh, responsibility level or user level if you are uh, giving this value. So this will be stored in separate table. And then the actions. So this will have the whatever the action tab you are specifying here, right? like uh, property information, building, messages. This will be stored in the table. Okay, so these are all the main key things if you are migrating uh, from test to live instance so thanks for watching see you in the next video